Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to lesson 52 in the Intermediate Algebra series. So in this tutorial we're going to be solving another absolute value inequality and uh, this one's going to be a little bit more complicated than the last one that we solved but uh, it won't be too bad and uh, we're just going to go ahead and solve it step by step. So basically we're going to kind of uh, start to approach the same form as we had in the previous tutorial. What we want to get this absolute value inequality to do is we want to get it to have this form over here. We want it to be some absolute value of some expression and uh, we want that to be less than or equal to some number n. So right now we don't quite have it in this form. If this 4 was gone we would have it in this form but since we have this extra term here it's not quite there. And uh, like I mentioned in the previous tutorial is if we have an absolute value inequality in this form then we can start finding our solution by saying negative n is less than or equal to our expression and then that is less than or equal to a positive n. So if we have an absolute value inequality of this form we're going to start to solve it by plugging it into this form right here. So we need to get our absolute value inequality into this form so that we can go ahead and do that. So we're simply just going to add 4 to each side of the inequality here and a negative 4 and a positive 4 give us 0 so that just leaves us with the absolute value part right here so we've got absolute value of 5 minus 9x and uh, this part went to 0 so then that's just less than or equal to 6 plus 4 6 plus 4 gave us 10 so now we have our absolute value inequality into the correct form we have the absolute value of some expression in our case our expression is 5 minus 9x and that's less than or equal to some number n. In our case, n is equal to 10. So let's go ahead and start our solution now. So we can start our solution by saying negative n, or in our case, 10. Negative 10 is less than or equal to our expression. Our expression was 5 minus 9x. And that's less than or equal to n. In our case, that was 10. And so now what we want to do is we want to just get x by itself here in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're just going to simply take away 5 from each of these right here. So negative 10, take away 5 more, give us negative 15. And that's less than or equal to this part right here. So a positive 5 and a negative 5 give us 0, so that leaves us with negative 9x in the middle. And that's less than or equal to 10 minus 5. 10 minus 5 is just 5. So now what we want to do is we want to just go ahead and divide all three of these terms by a negative 9. That way we can get x by itself here in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to do negative 15 divided by negative 9. And uh, I'm going to skip writing the inequality signs just for a second. So now we're going to do negative 9x divided by negative 9 and the positive 5 divided by negative 9. And the reason why I didn't write down these inequalities right away is I wanted to remind you guys that anytime you multiply or divide by a negative number, you need to flip the inequality sign. So these less than or equal to signs now become greater than or equal to signs because we divided by a negative number. So once again, this happens anytime you multiply or divide by a negative number and you're dealing with inequalities. So now let's go ahead and just kind of simplify this a little bit. So a negative divided by a negative is just going to be a positive, so I'm just going to get rid of these negative signs here since we're going to have a positive result. And 15 can be rewritten as <clears throat> 5 times 3, and 9 can be rewritten as 3 times 3. Then we have our greater than or equal to sign here. And then we have a negative 9 divided by a negative 9, and that gives us 1, and then 1 times our x is simply just x. And that's greater than or equal to 5 divided by negative 9. We can just rewrite that as a negative 5 over 9. And then we have this uh, 5 times 3 divided by 3 times 3. We can just cancel these two 3's. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times 5 over 3 is 5 over 3. So then we have 5 over 3 is greater than or equal to x, which is greater than or equal to minus 5 over 9. And this solution is correct now. We have a correct solution. But a lot of times it's nice to write the numbers from least to greatest. 
And so the way we can uh, rewrite this expression is we can just start with the negative 5 over 9. And instead of the greater than or equal to sign, we're going to do the less than or equal to sign. And then we're going to write the x. And then we're going to do less than or equal to sign again instead of the greater than or equal to sign. And then the 5 over 3. So basically what I did is I just kind of wrote this down backwards, but because I wrote it down backwards, I needed to flip the sign so that the statement kind of still reads the same. So 5 over 3 is greater than or equal to x, which is greater than or equal to negative 5 over 9. is the same thing as negative 5 over 9 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 5 over 3. So I'm just going to put this one in a box, and uh, that's going to be our answer. So basically what this means now is that if we were to have, if we were to choose any x value that is greater than or equal to the value negative 5 over 9, but less than or equal to the value 5 over 3, we could plug that value in for our x here, solve this absolute value inequality, and uh, we would basically produce a true statement here. So this is the range of possibilities that we can choose for x to have this absolute value inequality produce a true statement. So anyway, thanks for watching uh, today. Stay tuned for uh, the next tutorial. I'll be doing some more absolute value inequalities. And uh, for the next few tutorials, I'll be uh, basically doing the same type of thing, except for I will be flipping the sign here and we'll be doing the second type of solution. So stay tuned for that type of solution. Um, I appreciate all you guys watching and uh, for all the comments uh, that you've been giving me. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.